Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Coliseum Wrestling. I am, of course, your host, your play-by-play for the evening, Aaron Nix, and I'm joined by the wonderfully delectable Tony Wright. Tony, welcome to the broadcast, brother. Hello, hello. It's been quite a journey to get here. The Coliseum is now open for business, and I cannot think of a better individual to start the night off than Shreddy. He's jacked, he's stacked, and he's ready to go. Just, just look at him. I mean, I, w- I will say someone backstage said that we look alike. I don't see it myself, but if anything, it would be, you know, I'm the before and he is the after. I mean, look at this man. I mean, you're both very good looking gentlemen, I have to say, but to I think Shreddy might just have you on the mask here. Uh, obviously, he's just come past. He's just had a little word with us on broadcasting, which I appreciate. He's ready for this. And let's not forget as well, there's been a lot of chat in the build-up to this match, a lot of posturing, there's a lot of meat in this match, and the guy that he's about to face, as said to us on several occasions, Shreddy is the pretender, Shreddy is the guy who wishes he was like me, but I'll tell you what, what I'm looking at right now is a prize specimen, it's not hard to see why he is a British bodybuilding champion. Oh yeah. He's going to make his opponent eat those words. Uh, you, you don't get past Shreddy easily at all. Um, and we, we're going to see a, a very, very powerful matchup right here. Yeah, his opponent is obviously, in many ways, the doppelganger. He's the guy who kind of set the blueprint for what it's about when it comes to being a bodybuilder, when it comes to being jacked and stacked in his own right. But let's not forget, Shreddy isn't just some big meathead with muscles. This is a very accomplished man. He's got his own YouTube channel in Shreddy Brett. He's very, very well accomplished. He's an entrepreneur, and entrepreneurs in wrestling always do very well. There's a few of them later on this evening. Uh, obviously, shreddy has got something to say. I've got one question. For everybody here tonight, who's the daddy? Short and succinct, Tony. He's the daddy. He really is. I'm not a bit with him. Look at the, look at the. I mean, seriously, the shoulders on this guy—they're insane. But I tell you what, there is one man who can match ready for power, for precision. For looks, it is this man, the alpha male, Yeston Reese. This is this is dream match material. These this are two so similar, but so different in their their presentation, in their mindset. This is this is a leviathan of a man. This is a legitimate, you know. Everyone knows me. I talk about meaty horses. I talk about big units in wrestling. Yes, the re six foot four, two sixty, an absolute leviathan of the game. Shredded to the gills, a bodybuilder in his own right. And as we mentioned, and as I said earlier, he thinks Shreddy is a pretender. He thinks Shreddy is beneath him. He thinks that all Shreddy is is a massive rip off of what he is. But. We're about to find out because there's no more time for talking. It's all about meaty collisions here. What an opening contest. The first ever match for Coliseum Wrestling pits two of the best heavyweights this country has produced. Chris Wood's getting uh, the the men of their corners. I'm, uh, I'm not excited for Chris Woods, if I'm being honest, mate. He's dwarfed in there. You don't appreciate how big these guys are. Hopefully it comes through on the broadcast, but these are two massive men. Chris Woods is a normal sized gentleman. He's a decent sized lad is our Chris. Look at him. He looks like a toothpick compared to these two. This is a, a proper Madison Square Garden type main event match, but here it is opening the show. Let's not forget as well, Coliseum. It's in the name. It's exactly what it's meant to be. This is a competitor's area. This is a gladiatorial version of professional wrestling at its finest. We're here to see gladiators destroy each other, to tear each other apart for the glory, for the honor of professional wrestling. Huge collar and elbow tie up. There's going to be a lot of posturing in this match. Some more trash talk there. Yes, and Reese has been very vocal in the build-up to this match about what he thinks is ready. He doesn't like him. He told me before the show, I haven't got time for this guy. Calls him small, calls him beneath him, says that he's a bigger man, he's more jacked. What he says is, I'm a more accomplished version of this guy. But let's be honest, Shreddy, you know, he lives up to his name. And the bottom line is, you can talk all you want, but you've got to be able to have the physicality 
to dispatch him. But if one man is able to put Shreddy down, it's got to be Yester Reese. Look at the size of the guy. He's very confident in, it, in, in his actions, but is he is he too confident? Has he underestimated Shreddy? I think he might have. Like people, I imagine a lot of people watching this broadcast are saying, "Yeah, I know who Yester Reese is. Maybe Shreddy not so much because he does a lot of his work in the north because he has dedicated so much time to bodybuilding." But the bottom line is that he is the consummate professional, the consummate athlete. It's actually Yester Reese, the guy who we expect to be the veteran, the guy we expect to be honest and real and everything else that comes with being a veteran of our game. It's the alpha male who has really been out there, kind of almost demeaning what we do here by running Shreddy down so much. And now it's put up or shut up time. Headlock doing nothing to... to Beautiful shred. leapfrog there from Shreddy. The agility. That's crazy agility. There you go, though, the wily veteranism of a yes to race. Big shoulder block as well, using all of that mass, all of that meat. And let's be honest, an average man would hurt taking a shoulder block from that. But when you're shreddy size and you get hit like that, there's extra meat in there. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, as they like to say. It's the old cliche, but it does work. When, it, when we talk about heavyweight wrestling, there's a big clothesline though. Yes to race again, too much fostering, showing off, thinking he's better. Shreddy straight on that attack though. He didn't let that initial shoulder tackle throw him off his game. If anything, it's, it's kick-started something in Shreddy. He's looking to finish this one early. Huge stalling suplex from Shreddy. The straight there holding Yester Reese in the air for, for seconds. We're talking about a 260, 270 pound man, six foot four, like I've said, Yester Reese. You know, we had a chance to meet him beforehand. He's huge. And Shreddy just lifted him up like a rag doll. Again, he's got him up on his shoulders. There you go. See, there's, there's the wrestling acumen. You know, whether you like it or not, it is bending the rules. Coliseum have been very strong about the rules, but Yestin breaking the eyes there so he can get advantage of Shreddy. This is the problem that a lot of people are saying about Shreddy. Yeah, he looks like a great athlete, but is he a little bit too green? Is he a little bit too clean for the squared circle? I don't think his experience is uh, is at fault there. I think Yestin Reese knows how to bend the rule, but uh, look, 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 look there. It's just... That's just straight up dirty tactics. It is, it is dirty, but we also know, you know, the traditional vibe game. Yes, the Reese doesn't mind bending the rules. Like I say, he's gonna push as hard as he can. He's got till five, he'll relinquish at four. He is smart, he is cerebral. It's not to everyone's liking, but it has given him in the upper hand. Speaking of upper hands, he's just given a European upper that frankly would knock me into next week. Big scoop slam from Yes and Reese. If he really thinks that Shreddy's the poser and he thinks Shreddy's beneath him, why is he why is he resorting to these underhand tactics to uh, to to get ahead here? Maybe it's a little bit of posturing. Maybe you know he sees him as a bigger threat than he's letting on. You know, I don't know what's going on inside of Yester Reese's head, but you can't seriously stand opposite the ring from a man the size of Shreddy, no matter how hard he's been hit right now, and honestly tell me that that is an easy contest for you. Look at the torque on the neck. He's working him across those ropes. The one thing that Yester Reese does know is how to utilize everything around him. The ropes, the turnbuckles, the canvas, everything can be used as a weapon if you are a cerebral professional wrestler. Uh, he went through quite the ring, General. His his ring awareness is is uh, is so, so strong. I have to say as well, Yester Reese, I'm very surprised at how much he's utilizing the second rope, Brett's rope. There you go, right there. It's huge, it's like a missile. Shot out of a cannon is Yester Reese with a big shoulder block. Can he get it? No. Shreddy still in the fight. The crowd are rallying behind Shreddy as well. It's clear who the fans are behind in this opening. Shreddy, Shreddy likes the people. He's a man of the people. He's working class. He's very proud you know, of his northern heritage. He's very, very proud of that, as he should be. And we know Liverpool, there isn't a bigger working class city than Liverpool. And the Scouts, in general, tend to love a scrap. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. He's putting up a great fight. However, he's being worn down. How much longer is he going to be able to resist this kind of punishment? Because right now, Yester Reese has been on top of him for the better portion of this match.
A lot more posturing, a lot more talking. He's standing up there for a long time. He's giving Shreddy an opportunity to come back. He's paid for that. He's paid for that with his posturing. Now we're starting to see what you were talking about. Shreddy feeding off the energy of the audience, throwing those big clotheslines, huge back suplex as well, taking a big man like Yester Reese off his feet. Just bowled him over like he was nothing. But like, can you imagine the strength it takes to put someone like Yester Reese on his back like that? Big splash in the corner from Shreddy. Taking him to the other corner. He's really throwing Yester Reese around. That's what amazes me about this guy. I cannot understate the power involved to be able to move men like this at such a speed. Wow. That is an insane amount of power. Literally 2.9. Yes, the race shoots the shoulder off the canvas. I thought he was done there. I, I don't know how you could kick out of a spy buster that brutal. Definitely feels like Shreddy is starting to be in the ascendancy here. He's feeding off the energy. Again, though, Yester Reese, every time he gets himself in a position to finish match, Yester Reese is able to come out okay, firing. My God, is a vicious spine buster from Yester Reese. And it's Shreddy this time who barely gets his shoulder off of the canvas. That return, uh, spine buster, sorry. It's, it's just, you know, I, I, I can see Yester getting uh, mad. Shreddy's inside his head. What we're looking at right now is posturing between two men that have such an incredible size disparity to the rest of the roster. These are two huge men, and they're going blow for blow. Each one of them is trading power moves. Yes, Reese is now looking for a patented finish here, looking for his patented F5. That's been countered. Shreddy's up by a huge TKO. Is that enough? It is enough. Shreddy... Wow, talk about making history, Tony. Shreddy picks up the first victory in Coliseum Wrestling. The first victory and an impressive one in that. Shreddy comes out on top. Maybe he's not the poser he yesterday said he was. Well, the bottom line is there's only one winner here. It's Shreddy. Jack Stack Daddy of professional wrestling. Shreddy picks up a massive win. Let's not forget as well, if you get a win of this magnitude, you're the first person that people behind the scenes see already. As we talk about champions in the future, we talk about number one contenders. Shreddy's just made a massive statement there by dispatching the alpha male, all 6'4", of Yeston Riggs.